Hi, Bo here from ITech Investment, and welcome back to the channel where today we're going to do a tutorial on FX Blue, adding a publisher, uh, adding an EA app basically onto your trading charts. And you might uh, just ask yourself, why do I need that? I've been trading for a long time without that. Well, the idea is that you don't necessarily have to, but definitely there is tons of positive things when you are adding this one on here. And exactly what is that all about? Well, that's the entire video here today. Well, I'll give you a couple of uh, glimpses into basically some of the uh, pros that you will have. And that is obviously that when you have a normal MT4 platform that you are trading from, you can see which accounts are open, which are closed. You can see a bit of a history, but you don't really have a lot more statistics in there that you need as a very good trader or at least to uh, develop your experience as a trader, figure out which ones work, which doesn't, and you might even have more EAs on the same platform. So this is the way where you can basically dissect the uh, trading information you are getting from there. Now, all of this, it can show you the weekly, the monthly profits. It'll show you the nice graph. It'll also show you all the individual currency pairs that you might be trading, how well you are doing, and also it can show you exactly which are the winning days, which are the losing ones, how much did you do on the best day, the worst day, and so on and so on. All of this will basically try to get you to be a better trader or at least try and understand your trades better or also your EAs that you might have added onto these particular charts. And that will give you a better chance of doing a, a better job over time. Some of these things are a lot more details on this particular graph here. We've just taken out so you can see your uh, monthly net profits, uh, your winning percentage rates and your trades. So all of these things are very good indicators of how the trades are, how stable are they uh, over a period of time. And you can obviously also share that similar to what we do on all our testing of EAs here that we have our platform, you can do that and show them basically this is how well we've done and this is how we started off and now we're doing so much better or vice versa, but definitely you can use all that data and information. So for any of your future trading. Now, obviously this is more about setting up the individual program today. And the first part is basically where to find it. So we're gonna show you exactly where to find it and how to download it from there. And there's a small little registration process, which is very, very quick and easy. It'll provide you with a bit of an email. And after that, uh, you will have to go also and uh, take the program down where you then gonna install it onto your trading platform. And there's multiple different ones, but this tutorial basically covers all of them. It's pretty much one size fits all. The layout might be a bit different, but where you're going to find all the details, where you're going to find the program and how it, it operates is pretty much straightforward. So let's go to the first part and figure out where exactly we're going to find it so we can get started. So when we start, you can start either by a search engine Google. So you can click in the uh, FX blue that you have, search it up here, and then it should basically pop up in the search area as one of the first ones and you simply click this particular one here. If it doesn't do, or if you use a different search engine and it doesn't come up, it is fxblue.com, and then you end up in this particular site here. The next part is go to fxblue live on here, and from there it says click uh, to set up your account. And this is the publisher EA app that you're looking for. There's also an account synchronization, we don't basically use this one because it's very slow to update. And the whole idea here is to get some good, decent information that is always updated up to speed. And you can see there's quite a few uh, ways of registering this with the MT4 platform, the MT5, the C Trader, and so on and so on. All of these have pretty much the same layout and setup when you start it. And all you have to do here is click on the register button. We're going to install it on an MT4 platform here today. You get this new window and then you add in a FX Blue ID, FX Blue password, and then your email address that you want to use for this particular part. And depending on how you uh, want to run your user IDs and your passwords, 
we can uh, suggest that obviously you do it individually or you link it up with the individual accounts. So that means again, the account number and password that you have for that particular trading account. You can use the same ones for the FX Blue. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, or you simply develop your own um, setup. So it's entirely up to you. So let's put uh, the passwords and user ID in here. And now that we put in the FX Blue user ID, we have put in our passwords and then an email address. All you have to do here is click on the register button and then it comes up. It provides you with a URL, so basically a link. And you copy this particular link over here and uh, you save it and make sure that you have that for the future. You can also obviously open up uh, this particular link in here and that will now tell you uh, that it's not published anything because we haven't finished it. So obviously it's important to make sure that you go and do this next part, which is the email verification. It says here, please verify your email address to get access to the full range of the FX Blue service. So we have to pop over there and find the email. Now the email looks like this. So basically, uh, welcome to the FX Blue. And then you have a range of details and information of uh, what you can do and how you can monitor it. We are interested in the lower part here saying email verification. And in here it says verify that your account. And then all you have to do is click on this particular link here. And when you do that, you will have a new setup. And that will again tell you here that please put in your first name, your family name, and then a cell phone number. And that is basically just a double confirmation uh, so that once it'll send you an SMS here, you have to click that particular one and then it will be checked and verified and the account is up and running. So let me put in the uh, name that we have in here. Make sure that it has also the uh, right uh, mobile address. And then after that, you simply click the SMS button in here and verification code. You now have to just wait a second or two until it shows up on your phone. So as the email has been verified and you now have sent your SMS uh, text back again here, you get basically thank you. Uh, and then the details has been successfully verified it means your account is now set up. So all you have to do here is click continue. You basically come back to the page where we started on, if you can see that. And you can then go over to the apps section. In here, there is multiple uh, FX Blue apps. You can see there's different types in here. So there's also a trade copier, which we are not really covering here today but we are going in on the uh, trader tool. So click that particular one. We want to go into the publishing tool. So click that particular one. And now you can see the individual publishers again here you have for MT4, MT5, and then you have for other platforms, uh, depending on which one you want to use. And again, you simply uh, click this particular link here. And you now get onto a free download link and you also have the online user guide. So you can basically get all the details that are in here. So let's get the uh, free download running. So click this particular one here and then you will pick up the program itself. So in the uh, download folder. So as we get to the download folder, you have it in here. It's basically a compressed file. All you have to do is double click on this particular one here. And uh, let's make the view a bit larger for the icon itself. You can see FX Blue Publisher EA for MT4 setup. And now the next part we will do is basically copy this one here onto our trading platform. So if you are using a laptop, if you are using VPS, it doesn't really matter. Process is the same. So we have jumped over to our VPS and we have copied the program. Also, you see it here, FX Blue Publisher EA for the MT4 setup. And we also copied over the publisher. We have one for MT5, but we are interested in this particular one here today. And all you have to do is double click here. It will now automatically recognize all the different uh, trading accounts that you have in here. And you can see how they are set up. 
uh, obviously we have quite a few in here as you'll see and we have to go and find the one that's called effect blue test account that is the one we're going to use for this particular tutorial you are able to select all and basically add it into it there's nothing really wrong with that if you happen to do that it is good you have it on all individual accounts you can also just mark up uh, a few of them in here and you can then deselect them again so now all we are interested in in the fx blue test account here today we put in and basically put install and it says now here the software has been successfully installed and then all you have to do is restart to basically get this up and running now the fx blue account we have it over here so if we start this particular one up then we should be able to see that that fx blue publisher has been added into the account so the account i'm showing you here today is simply a new account that has just been set up it hasn't really been traded you can see it's a balance of 10,000 us currently there is four graphs open so you can pretend that these are the trades that you actually want to run in the future here and all we have to do is go to the expert forex advisor here to see if we can find it if it's loaded and there it is if it didn't load or if you already uh, had the account open so the uh, trading account then it might not show up until you restart but what you basically can do then is mark up the expert advisor right click on the mouse button and then click refresh then this one should pop up so the next uh, part is basically just put this particular one on a chart it doesn't really matter what chart what currency pair it is uh, as long as it's one that you have in the market watch over here um, so you can use that one or you can use any other one you don't have to set it up either for for one hour uh, 15 minutes or anything else because you will see it is actually going to be completely blocked out so on the graph itself when you add the ea to it so what we do is you can either uh, right click and attach to the chart itself and then we'll mark it up or you drag and drop in this particular case here the fx blue publisher you have the common parts and one of the things that you have in here is long short positions that is the standard setup make sure that the dll imports and import of external experts is there allow live trading so you need that one in here too and then the last part and we have to open this one up a bit more is there's quite a few details in here uh, that you can go and have a closer look at through the manual uh, depending on what you want but normally the way it is set up here it works quite well straight uh, out of the box all you have to do now is remember the username and the password that we had earlier on when you registered the account we add them in there so now that we added the username and we also added the password in here then everything is set up and all we have to do is click ok you will now see that you get a little message up here and that was actually on purpose i did that um, because even though this one here is set up there's a small little detail that you have to remember uh, as part of it but you are getting a bit of a warning of it uh, on the publisher itself it says add and then it says um, https publisherfsblue.com into the tools and i'll show you exactly how that is done so what you have to do here now is click this part off you have to go to tools and then you will end up in here you go to the expert advisor and down here in the web request listed for url you are basically adding that particular line in here that will then make sure that the fx blue is working so let's just copy this particular one in here there you go and all you have to do now is click the ok button and you will see that nothing really changes so just click f7 to run it again and after that you can now see publication is successful last publication when it's done the next publication so basically it will update approximately every five seconds which is more than enough and from there on any single trade that you are actually doing on this particular account here will go over to the account that we set up 
Um, so let's just jump over and have a look and see exactly what it looks like when you are starting off. So jumping over and having a quick look to see if everything is okay. You can see the FX Blue account is now up and running. You can see the account itself. You have the balance in here. But after that, you have nothing else. You have no data. Uh, you can see the history is one day old. And that's pretty much what it's going to look like until you start having some trades coming through the system. And then you will have all the data that you need in order to become a better trader. So as you can see, the process is fairly simple, fairly straightforward, and it shouldn't take you more than maximum five or 10 minutes here, depending on if it's the first time that you are doing this, if it's the first time you have ever set up an MT4 or MT5 platform. As I mentioned here before, the process is, is very simple, very straightforward. And once you have registered and basically set up the account here, then you will have a lot of enjoyment trying to get a lot of graphical details, informations out of your individual trades that hopefully also will uh, get you to become a better trader over time. Now that you can basically dissect into individual trades, you can basically understand also part of the EA, how it operates, how you can tweak it the best way in order to basically maximize your profits. So at the end of the day, this is definitely a very, very important tool here to have in your trading toolbox. And I hope I've given you a bit of insights and hopefully also some help and assistance. So I would appreciate a, a comment or a like here. So if you think that this was actually beneficial to you and otherwise, I'll see you on one of my next videos. Bye bye.